Well, hi everyone. Thanks for joining us today uh, for our UpFlush and other home solutions webinar. My name is Jason Nett. I'm the uh, International Marketing and Sales Manager here at Zoller Company. I'm coming to you today from uh, the headquarters here in Louisville, Kentucky. I uh, appreciate you joining us for the uh, UpFlush and other home solutions webinar. Uh, just a couple things before I get started. Please note the email address that's written there below the title on your screen. Uh, if you have any questions after we wrap up today, you can send them to uh, webinars at zoller.com and we'll get back to you uh, with an answer. Now that those details are covered, I'll start off by telling you a little bit about myself. Um, again, my name's Jason Nett. I've got an MBA and a post back in accounting from Indiana University, as well as a bachelor's degree in biology from the University of Southern Indiana. I've been with Zoller Company uh, since June of 2000. Started out my career here in the engineering department, mainly focused on wastewater treatment system R&D. For the next five years, I managed a Zoller-owned service company. We provided installation, maintenance, and repair services. Um, for all types of lift stations uh, and treatment systems. But since 2012, I've served as our international marketing manager, supporting our uh, international marketing efforts. And then in 2016, took on the added responsibility of international sales. And since that time, I've been serving as our international marketing and sales manager. So now that you know a little bit more about me and my background, we'll go ahead and, and get started. If you've ever added a bathroom, a kitchen, bar, utility sink to a basement, or a slab built building where gravity piping is not already accessible to you, this is probably a scene that you're familiar with. Busting up concrete, put in gravity drainage piping certainly has its challenges. There's obviously hard work involved, time, cost, and in some cases it could even impact the structural integrity of the building. In the picture here, you can see what a, a roughed in four inch and two inch drain line might look like in one of those installations where you do have to break the concrete to put it in. So the goal in our time here today is to cover really two classes of products that don't require you to break concrete like this. The first class of products are for what we would call black water applications. And then the second class is for gray water applications. The main difference between the two, gray water and black water, really comes down to the contents of the wastewater. So we consider black water as anything that's going to have disease-causing bacteria in the waste stream, and this would be coliform-type bacteria. And everyone, I think, is probably familiar with E. coli. You see it in the news or stories about it in the news from time to time. E. coli is one type of coliform bacteria, and again, it's it's something that can cause illness. And so any wastewater that would have that type of disease causing bacteria in it, we would consider that black water. And gray water would be more like the wastewater that would come from a sink or a laundry drain. And that's how we would distinguish between the two, the black water and the gray water products. First, I'm going to cover a couple of new products that we have available to you that make it easier to install a bathroom anywhere where gravity drainage is not already accessible or it's cost prohibitive. We officially launched uh, the two new products that I'm going to cover here. We officially launched them in June, and uh, so they're, they're in stock here and available to you. But these are products that you can install in those applications where you don't want to bust up concrete to put in a full or even a half bathroom. They provide you with an alternative to that previous uh, picture that I showed you. And as a class of products, again, these are what we would consider our black water handling products. So that sort of wastewater. Over the last 18 months, most of us have spent more time at home. And I know we've got folks from various countries on here today. I think for all of us, you know, we've spent more time at home over the last uh, year and a half. And, and over that time, our homes have taken on some additional responsibilities or maybe a greater degree of responsibility in various areas. I think now more than ever, for some of us, you know, our home is, is you know, serving as a gym, a school. We're spending more on entertainment at home. Certainly for a lot of us, it, we've, we've used it more as an office than we ever have. And as a result of all that, you know, a lot of us are adding on, we're remodeling, finishing basements, adding a bathroom, adding other features to make the home more useful or just more comfortable. Obviously in the process, we're often adding value, which is a good thing. But with our new products, 
they really allow you to do some of these things in a much more time efficient, cost effective way. And so, you know, if you want to add a bathroom, you can do that more easily. If you want to put in a sink or a kitchen or bar area, say in a basement, you can do that with our drain pumps with less mess and less hassle than uh, you would should you have to bust up the concrete to do it. Here's a sort of a before and after example of what a full bathroom addition might look like if you were using, say, our new Quick John Premier in a basement installation or when finishing a basement. In the left side of the slide there, you'll notice the concrete floor. There's no piping roughed in. So to add a full bathroom under a conventional method, you'd have to bust up the concrete and install the gravity piping like we saw in that earlier photo. In most instances, you'd have to locate the bathroom in an area that would allow you to connect to a gravity line that's exiting the building or pipe it into a sewage lift station that's recessed in the floor. And obviously this would limit your options on where you could locate the bathroom. But with the Quick John Premier, like we're showing here in this picture, and our new Quick John Choice that we'll get into, that limitation of where you can install the bathroom in the area or in the space that you've got available, it's not as much of an issue because if you want to locate it, you know, say on the far end of the basement and the piping's on the opposite side, you can pump directly to that discharge piping. So these new products, which are you know, small lift station type products, allow you to install that bathroom or, or that sink wherever you want to put it. On the right hand side of this uh, slide here is an example of the new Quick John Premier and how it could turn this unfinished space into a, into a full bathroom. So not only do the new Quick Johns, not only do they handle the waste from the toilet, you can see the pipe at the rear discharge of the toilet there, but it would also be able to collect the waste from an adjacent sink, uh, a tub or shower, in one of the two side inlets. There's an inlet on the right and left side that allow you to connect adjacent fixtures. So, you know, here you can see the, uh, the side inlet connection for the sink drain that's coming into the right hand side of the, the premier tank. You can imagine if you had a shower or a tub over here, you would have a similar connection here on the left hand side. So it allows you to not only take on the waste of the, the toilet, but also the adjacent fixtures. So the two new products that we just rolled out in June are the Quick John Choice and the Quick John Premier. Both of the units can be used in a full or half bathroom application. Um, the, like I said, the toilet and adjacent fixture connections are similar between the two. Um, and really the main difference is in the internal construction of the two systems and the applications in which they can be used. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. The Quick John Choice, um, pictured there on the left is a third horsepower macerator system and it's really designed for residential applications only. It's, it's designed to handle organic waste and paper and so if you have a residential application and you're pretty confident about the source of the wastewater coming in it, there's not a lot of variability in, in what's in that incoming waste stream, the Quick John Choice is a very economical option for you. Compared to the Quick John Premier there on the right, the Quick John Premier, it's a true half horsepower grinder pump system and it's designed for residential and light commercial applications. It's got more cutting ability. It's ideal for bathroom applications, really where the incoming waste stream is going to be less predictable, more variable. So you can imagine in a more public restroom type application, you have less control, less knowledge over what's in the waste stream. The Quick John Premier, because it is a true grinder pump, it's going to be able to handle more variability in the in the incoming waste stream. But the installation method for the Choice and the Premier is very similar, and I think the pictures do a good job of highlighting that. As part of today's webinar, we've got five pieces of literature that are available to you for download. So, um, you know, be sure to check those out. Uh, before you sign off today. But for an introduction to our Quick John product line, we have a, a four page brochure that includes all the information or most of the information I'm going to cover in the webinar. The picture on the left here is this is the front cover of that four page brochure. More detailed information about the, uh, the choice in the Premier can be found on the sales slicks that are available. 
uh, for download. They're also, all of these are also available on our website. But what I'm showing you here is just a snapshot of the front page of each, which really shows the features and benefits of both the Choice and the Premier. Both of them are 115 one volt systems, so there's no special re power requirements. Uh, required for installation. And, uh, both have a very small footprint and that appliance-like appearance, so they're not overbearing when they're installed behind a, behind our white toilet, as you can see in the small photos there on the sales slicks and that you can see from the images that we showed you on the previous slide. Performance of the new Quick Johns varies by model. As you can see from the, the curve shown here, um, the Quick John Choice is capable of reaching 26 feet in shutoff head, 32 gallons per minute maximum flow, compared to the Quick John Premier, which is about 29 feet in shutoff head and about 45 gallons per minute uh, maximum flow. The main point here is that the performance of either is going to be more than adequate for most of your residential or commercial applications where you might be applying these. So here's an internal look at the construction of the Choice and Premier. I'm going to break this down in more detail as we go through. Front of each one, right here on the front, you can see the three and a half in inch inlet, which would be your connection to a rear spigot toilet. Since the Choice is a macerator, the first thing that the incoming waste is going to see is the cutter from which the, so the cutter is right here. Once the, the material sees the cutter, and it's cut or macerated, it's going to fall down into the, through these, the, the openings on the strainer basket here and make its way to the, uh, to the bottom of the pump, at which point it's going to be picked up by a vortex impeller and, and discharged or evacuated from the system. The white vertical column here on the left, that's your float switch casing. On the top here, there, this is one of the access covers. There would be another one over top of uh, this access port to the to the strainer basket and the cutter itself. By comparison here, the, the Quick John Premier then is a grinder package. And uh, again, it's a half horsepower grinder pump system. The tank is of similar construction. You got the recessed handles here on both the right and left side. Here is your connection from adjacent fixtures. So a, a two inch connection here, a slip connection or NPT. Uh, depending on how you want to make the connection. But as with all of our grinder pumps, the cutting mechanisms on the very bottom of the pump, so the bottom of the tank on the Quick John Premier slopes in the direction of the bottom of the grinder pump itself. And that way, on each cycle, there's very little residual water remaining in the tank uh, because the pump is able to evacuate most of that on each cycle. And uh, so that's one of the features we've built into the design. The pump and the float switch in both, in both products can be easily removed within just a matter of minutes. And, and we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in the upcoming slides. Here's a look at the Quick John Choice. As I mentioned there before, it's got two snap fit decorative white covers or access covers on the top. The one on the left, which is designated there by the red arrow, provides access to the float switch and the electrical junction box. The decorative cover on the right, which is designated there by the green arrow, would provide you with access to a yellow inner cover that's above the cutter and strainer basket that we looked at there on the previous slide. On the left and right of the tank lid, there are two, two simple snaps that allow, you, allow the entire cover of the tank to be removed. So the snaps are designated there by the blue arrows once you remove that entire lid, that would provide you with access to all the internal components, which again could be removed real quickly if, if you would need to do so. Here's a look at the, the Quick John Choice with the right hand uh, decorative cover removed. You can see the, the yellow protective cover over top of the cutter and the strainer basket there. If you remove the four screws holding that cover on, that gives you access to to that cutting mechanism and that strainer basket. We chose to make it yellow just to remind anybody performing service on it, you know, the potential hazards of associated with removing that cover. Obviously, you want to have power disconnected completely from the system before you would do that. We've also outfitted it with a, a warning label that's 
in English, Spanish, and French, depending on which market you're in, to provide some additional warning before removing that cover. But that gives you access to this uh, stamped cutter that you can see in the, in the photo here on the right. Um, as I mentioned previously, this is the first mechanical component of the Quick John Choice that the incoming waste would see. And from this view, you can get a good, good shot of the openings in that macerator basket there around the periphery of it. And uh, in the photo on the left, you can see how the cutter of the macerator is mounted right on top of that third horsepower uh, motor housing. And then again, the impeller of the pump is, is on the very bottom, a slightly different design than, than what you'd see in a traditional grinder pump, if you're more familiar with those from our product line. But again, this system's designed for residential applications and, and toilet paper are, are really what is designed to handle in, in those applications with a fairly predictable waste stream. If you remove the decorative access cover on the left, you, gain, you can gain access to the electrical junction box and the float assembly. If you use a Phillips head screwdriver here and remove the four outer screws, so these four screws right here on the, the outer part, of this, uh, this connection point, that'll provide you with access to the float switch assembly. So if you remove those four screws and you lift that assembly out, this is what you'll see. And just using your fingers and the handle grip on the top, if you lift vertically, you can remove that entire float switch assembly. The protective sleeve there in the photo on the right, you can see here uh, with just a quarter turn of this sleeve, you can remove that. And within that, you would see the entire the float assembly that, that turns the system off and on. It's really, we've tried to do our best in, in both the Choice and the Premier to just make them really easy to service. If you remove these four inner screws with that same access cover removed, you can, you can gain access to the electrical junction box. And inside of here, you, we've got all of our float and pump connections Incoming power connection is here as well. And everything's put together with push to connect fitting. So it's real easy to, uh, to disconnect any wire should you need to do so for servicing to replace a float or, or what have you. On the underside of that decorative cover, we've got a wiring diagram that's there for reference. And so again, we've just tried to do everything we can to make, as, make it as easy as possible to service should you need to do so. If you use those two snap fits on either side, again, you can remove the entire lid and gain access to all the internal components. So here you can get a feel for how everything fits together and, and how easy it is to, to access anything inside. So similar to the Quick John Choice, the Quick John Premier, it's also got a snap fit uh, top cover. Again, on the left and right of the tank here, you can see the two simple snaps that, that would allow you to remove that and that designated there by the blue arrows. So like on the choice, removal of the lid here would provide you with access to all the internal components, which could be removed in a matter of seconds if needed. Here's a snapshot looking down into the Quick John Premier with that top cover removed. Again, you can get a feel for how everything fits together and just how easy it is to access any of the components, float body and the entire float mechanism, the float assembly here on the right, and then you can see the grinder pump here as well as the discharge pipe. In the next couple of slides, I'm going to show you a few details about this connection right here between the, the float switch assembly and the pump. And so just keep that in mind as a point of reference here in, in an upcoming slide. Once the float switch assembly is removed, the protective sleeve, just like on the Quick John Choice, can be removed with a, a quarter turn of the, the pipe there. And again, it's really easy to service. In the photo on the right, you can see the ball of this, the float switch assembly. So here is a, in the picture on the left, you can see the stainless steel horseshoe clip and the two Phillips head screws that secure the cord from the pump to the float switch body. By removing the two screws, then you could disconnect the cord from the float switch assembly. There's just a three pin configuration that connects, that makes the electrical connection. So it's really simple to replace a, a float switch if necessary. The plug and the float switch housings are keyed, so there's only one way uh, that they can go together to make that electrical connection. But one of the features we've tried to build into these new systems in order to, uh, to make them easier to service uh, in the field should you need to do so. 
just taking a little closer look here at the, the grinder pump in the Quick John Premier. You can see it, the bottom of it there on the left hand side of the slide, but you've got a stainless steel handle on the top of the pump and a, a little mini rail system built into the Premier that make it easy to remove. It's a, here's a closer view of the cutting mechanism on the bottom of the grinder pump here. If you're familiar with uh, the grinder pumps in, in our lineup, this is a, a cutting style and a, a, a cutting mechanism that you're likely familiar with because we've incorporated our tri-slice cutter technology into this pump capable of 250,000 cuts a minute. So if you're familiar with those other grinder pumps in our line, this is one that'll be familiar to you. All that is to say that it's been well tested and proven itself in many different applications. So we've got a lot of experience with this uh, cutting mechanism and, and this, this sort of assembly and grinder pump applications. One of the questions I get a lot is how loud is it? And what I can tell you is it's about as loud as the flush of the toilet. Uh, both the Choice and the Premier, they turn on just a couple seconds, I'll say, after the water exits the bowl of the toilet, but the noise level of either is not much different than the flush of the toilet itself. To my knowledge, we've never had a complaint from the field about it being too noisy. Here's a, a clear version of the Quick John Premier tank. We created this for demonstration purposes only. It gives you a little better visual of how the pump and the float switch and the Premier are fixed within the tank. You can see kind of the, the rail system right here and right here where the, where the grinder pump mounts and where the float assembly mounts inside the tank. You can also see that sloped bottom of the tank, which is what facilitates the water movement, allows most of the wastewater to be evacuated with each cycle. We've also incorporated an appliance like white cord with a right angled plug um, into both the Quick John Choice and the Quick John Premier. That's part of the new offering. Again, this is a seemingly subtle feature, but, but one that was important to some. It was based on some feedback we've received from, from in customers in the field. And so that, that right angle style plug is available on, on both of the new products. One final design feature that I'd like to point out that's common to both the Quick John Choice and the Quick John Premier. Each system includes a discharge fitting on the top and it's a, a 90 degree fitting and it we've got a threaded union type connection with a built-in check valve included in this fitting so you can see here the nut that allows you to thread the discharge elbow onto the top of the tank of the quick john premier it's a very similar setup with the quick john choice here you can see the check valve that with a quarter turn can be removed from the underside of this discharge elbow. And again, a seemingly subtle feature, but it is important to maintenance providers and something we tried to tried to build into these into these two new systems. If you're interested in skid quantities, we can ship eight units per layer on a skid. Um, three layers high, so total of 24 units per skid. We can mix and match as well since the carton size is the same for the Choice or Premier. If you are ordering the Choice or Premier and the accompanying toilets, uh, we can get a total of 12 complete systems, the, the Quick John Choice or Premier and the toilets. We can get a total of 12 of those on two skids, so 12 complete systems on two skids. The cartons there shown in the photos on the right, they're full litho boxes, front and right, panel of the cartons, we've included the features and benefits as well as a picture of how the product might look in a finished installation. So no matter which way you might merchandise it on a shelf, front and side panel information are the same. On the back of the cartons, we've included information that would be meaningful to installers, including a list of what's included in the carton as well as the dimensional drawings for the product and that's on both the Choice and the Premier. Uh, inside of each box, you'll find the installation instruction booklet and a five-step quick start guide, as well as the product warranty registration guide. All the literature included is English, Spanish, and French, so depending on which market you're in, you'll find, find that to be useful, but these three pieces of literature are in, in each carton for both the Choice and the Premier. Under the recessed handle on the right-hand side of the Quick John Choice 
and the Quick John Premier, you'll find the product ID label. On the ID label is a data matrix code. You can see that there designated with the red arrow, but if you use an app on your phone, you can scan that data matrix code and it'll take you directly to the product registration page of our website where you can register the product and activate the warranty. Some of the information on the product registration page of the website will automatically populate when you scan the code. So we've tried to make registering the product very simple, very quick, but you can scan that code and that'll link you directly to the product registration page on our site. Here's just a snapshot of the quick start guide that's included in the carton of the Quick John Choice. We've got the same for the Quick John Premier. On the back side of this would be the English and Spanish versions, should you need those. On page three of the installation instructions, which are included in each cart, and you'll find an exploded view of the product and a complete list of all the service parts that we've got available. There's 17 for the Quick John Choice. There's 10 for the Quick John Premier. I think the short list of the service parts really speaks to the simplicity of the design. Uh, should you need those, they're available in the part numbers and information related to those can be found on page three of those installation instructions. Just for your convenience here, just a complete list of the product-specific documents that you might need. As I mentioned earlier, the sales slick for each is available to you for download. All the other documents that I've listed here are included in the product cart, and they're also available on our website in the literature tab for each of the products if you want to find them there. A little bit here on, on the toilet that we offer. The standard toilets drain to piping in the floor and they require the use of a, a steel such as a wax ring to make the connection, to make a watertight. The Quick John units, by comparison, they pair with a rear spigot toilet like the one pictured here. Uh, the toilet bowl fastens to the floor to prevent movement, but the discharge pipe connections at the back, not underneath. So you don't need to use a wax ring with this system. The toilet that we offer is ADA compliant, qualifies for the EPA water sense mark. It is a 1.28 gallon per flush toilet and comes with all the flush components necessary to complete an installation. The Quick John Choice or the Premier would nest right behind the toilet under the toilet's tank, or you could recess them in the wall or install them behind the wall if that's your preference. And I'll, I'll show you a bit more about how that might work in, in just a couple slides. This toilet is available, the bowl and the tank. And then we've got complete systems that we offer too. So here are just a listing of the part numbers and kind of a description of what each includes. But the Quick John components can be purchased individually or as one complete kit. The complete kit would include the Quick John Choice or the Premier. It's really your choice. And then the, the toilet, both the tank and the bowl for the toilet. All three components, if you order the 200 0021 or the 201-0021. So if you order either of these two, all of the components here that are included would ship in one large box. So with that one item number, you're able to order the components necessary for a complete toilet installation. In some installations, a lot of basement installations, for example, the bathroom's often adjacent to the utility room. So if you wanna extend the toilet's discharge pipe through the wall behind the toilet, and then locate the Quick John in the utility room where you've got access to it or more easy access to it. We've got a, this handy extension kit that allows you to do that. It comes with the components that you see here, the pipe, the couplings, the clamps, and that can be ordered using the part number 10-3050. I should mention that the discharge opening on, on most rear spigot toilets, it's not a standard size. So a standard four inch PVC pipe size or standard four inch schedule 40 PVC pipe won't match up with it directly. It's, it's like a three and a half inch diameter. So it does require a, a less common pipe size, which is why we, we offer this kit for you should you not have access to it elsewhere. The total length of the pipe included in the kit's 18 inches, which should give you enough length to extend through a standard wall into an adjacent room uh, should you wanna do that. As you've come to expect from most of our products, all the Quick John uh, products, the Choice and the Premier, 100% uh, factory tested before leaving our facility. So we really do our best to ensure that, you know, they're going to perform and work for you right out of the box. And, and so all of them are 100% factory tested. 
We also have a, a Zoller YouTube channel out there that has some great video content. We've recently released a couple of uh, one minute videos on the Quick John Choice and the Quick John Premier. I think the videos are, are really useful tools when explaining an upflush system to someone for the first time. So if you're trying to educate a potential end user on one of the systems, the two videos or either one of the videos really does a nice job of showing them how the system might look in an installation and how it operates internally. So we're not going to show those today, but you might be sure to check those out when you have an opportunity. And it's, it's out there and available for you on YouTube. So the applications in which you might use those or use a drain pump would be you know, if you were going to install a sink, a bar, the kitchen, a coffee island, anywhere where uh, gravity drainage is not accessible to you or cost prohibitive. These would be great products for doing that. Here's an example of how our most common drain pump, the Model 105, might be used in a utility sink application. We've seen an increase in this type of installation recently as more hand washing stations are being installed in, in various places to combat the spread of COVID. And so you know, using it right underneath the utility sink like this, to put in a hand wash station or in a laundry room type application. This is a, a very common way that a drain pump might be used. Here's another example of, of how a drain pump might be installed in the basement uh, cabinet in a residential kitchen application. This type of installation could also apply for a, a food prep island or a coffee bar. We see them used in those, those types of applications quite often as well. Here's a, a close-up, sort of a cutaway of our Model 105 drain pump. It's one of our most common. It includes a 3 tenths horsepower pump with a half-inch solids passing capability. Also comes with a check valve. You can see that there on the top. For other systems on the market, you often have to specify the check valve, so just be aware of that. With ours, it comes standard, all with the exception of the 104, which is, which is more of the uh, economy version, but the check valve does come standard on, on all but that one model. So You've got the option uh, to use the top or side inlet. It's really your choice. So it's really versatile in the field. This particular model does come with a three-year warranty. In our most popular drain pump series, we've got a standard and a premium version. The standard version catalog sheet is the catalog sheet that you see there on the left and the premium version is pictured on the right. So these are available on the website. Uh, here's a comparison chart of the drain pump models that we offer. It's also available in the drain pump section of the website and appears on the carton of the product so that you know exactly what you're getting. So if, for example, you're stocking these in the warehouse and you have an inquiry about, say, a 105 and you don't have the literature handy, this, this table does appear on the carton. And so, you know, there's some basic information there that would allow you to answer even some technical questions about, about the model of interest. So uh, again, this is available on the carton and, uh, and on the website, as well as one of the downloads today. If you enjoy our webinars, we want to be sure you know um, that we also offer in-person training and uh, live virtual training sessions at our, our Zoller University on campus location, um, the Center for Excellence. The center is a 6,000 square foot facility with a classroom area for lectures and a demo room for hands-on learning. So our CFE staff, they can tailor courses for anyone, whether you're a beginner or a more seasoned professional. Um, here in the, in the photos, you can see the, the exterior of the center there on the left. You can see the top right hand, uh, picture there is the, the classroom area, and then uh, just one shot there in the bottom right, you can see the, uh, the demo area. If you can't come to us, we can always come to you with our Zoller University on the Road product trailer. Um, the trailer is stocked with our latest products, demos, swag, and more. You can reach out to your local representative uh, to schedule a visit from the Zoller product trailer for your next counter day or event or book a trip to the CFE. Again, I, I really appreciate your attendance, appreciate your interest in, in, in the products. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us there at webinars at zoller.com. I wish you all the best. Thanks a lot.